Warren Buffett explains investors repeatedly fall into the same traps, the big mistake is thinking. They know when to buy and sell stocks. Benzinga. In an interview with Yahoo! Finance published in 2017, legendary investor Warren Buffett pinpointed a fundamental error many INV. Esters make. Buffett, known for his simple yet effective investment philosophy, highlighted the pitfalls of overk. Confidence in the market. Buffett's investment strategy, often summarized as buying stocks when they're affordable and holding onto them, has stood the test of time. Yet, he observes that investors repeatedly fall into the same traps. During an interview in Ohm, below are your comments. Just finished reading Buffett's Insights. It's fascinating how often people forget that the market isn't just numbers, but a psychological bat. T. LaField. I've seen my portfolio grow consistently, not by trying to time the market, but by understanding the value of companies and the vision of a great A. Spam article with a link to something Buffett would never invest in. Masterworks, aligning with this insight, offers investors a chance to partake in the art market, TRA. Additionally seen as an area of solid performance relative to conventional investments like the S&P 50. Zero. The platform provides an one thing you must learn to master as an investor is to get hold of your emotions. The financial media will toy with them every which way possible. If you can't then don't do things yourself. I grew my portfolio by over $150,000 in the past two quarters and my biggest secret was the trend in G. Alger. I love the advertisement in the middle of the article. Masterworks is an illiquid scam company. They'll charge you annual fees, a percentage of the profits, and they'll swindle you out of your mon. EY. You may not be able to sell for years and they'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Next news. Black Swan fund manager says start worrying when Fed cuts rates. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Mark Spitznagel, the Universa Investments founder and chief investment officer whose firm is Advi. Said by Black Swan author Nassim Nicholas Taleb, said the stock market is likely to surge. Then turn drastically when the Federal Reserve starts cutting interest rates. Most read from Bloomberg Rockstar plans to announce much anticipated Grand Theft Auto V2 year ye. Eld tops 5% on Powell's sterner tone. Markets rap Griffin says peace dividend over high inflation to last decade or so. Below are your comments. Everyone has panicked over a 5% Fed rate but if you look back at history for the last 50 years 5% is about normal. Sure, there are highs and lows but 5% isn't out of line. I don't like trying to time the market but I do like earning 5% on my cash while I wait for the next crash. Between student loans restarting, multi-year auto loan defaults, all-time high credit card debt, all-time high 401k loans, and inflation crippling people, something has to give. To quote Mish. Wouldn't it be great if the Fed would just quit meddling? We know what happens when the government tries to fix a problem, even if it's not a problem.
One thing you must learn to master as an investor is to get hold of your emotions. The financial media will toy with them every which way possible. If you can't then don't do things yourself. I grew my portfolio by over $450,000 in the past two quarters and my biggest secret was the trend in G. Alger. $7.6 trillion federal debt maturing in 2024 plus probably another $1.5 trillion fiscal deficit for 2024, how will the Treasury sell this debt without an attractive rate? If the Fed cuts rates, the old equation of print money and purchase debt may fail this time. Next news. Disney stock gains 7% as cost-cutting target reaches $7.5 billion, subscribers surge. Yahoo Finance Disney's fiscal Q4 report marks the first time the media giant is delivering earnings under a new re-porting structure that breaks out ESPN's financials. Below are your comments. They raised their monthly subscription fee, and I'm not happy with that. Everyone is sticking their hand out and asking for more money, so in an economy like this many people, e start cutting non-essentials. Disney Plus is a nice luxury, but I can live without it. I cancelled after they raised their rate. Disney tried raising my rates by approximately 60% for Disney Plus. I just cancelled. Not because I can't afford it, but because I'm tired of getting fleeced with bait and switch by the streaming providers. I'm not thrilled with handing money to the house of mouse, but I am a subscriber. I recent ditched a $140 per month cable bill for programming I barely ever watched, replacing it a hand full of streaming channels. It's vastly more reasonable, and has content I actually want to watch. Plus, I don't need. Of course subscribers surged. They cut a deal with a cable company to bundle the ad-based Disney Plus with cable packages and they have EA three-month intro at $1.99 per month for the ad base version for the rest of us. Subscribers will flee at the end of the year when those change to the regular price. A great basketball player once said, Republicans buy shoe too. He's a multi-millionaire and goes by the name, Michael Jordan. He didn't cave to one side when approached to do so. Other companies should follow suit. Next news. EV makers are targeting Tesla in an unexpected way. How will Elon Musk respond? Benzinga. In the early days of the electric vehicle, EV, market, automobiles were sold at a premium. Tesla Inc. Unveiled the Model S in March 2009 with a base price of $57,400. And that was nearly 15 years ago. However, the EV market is experiencing a shift. With availability on the rise, two things are happening. EV sales are following suit and price reductions are taking place. Every EV maker is being impacted by this shift, with Tesla in the crosshairs. Don't miss, until 2016 it was illegal for retail. Below are your comments. 
Tesla's total accumulated undelivered production for 2022 and 2023 YTD is under 17 days of production. And many of these undelivered vehicles are actually already sold and in transit to the customers. Dot. By comparison, legacy auto companies normally carry more than 60 days production in inventory. In clue. Tesla makes the largest profit on each car they sell, while every other car maker loses money on each EV. Tesla superchargers work great, there are tens of thousands of them and they are very reliable. The charging experience of non-Tesla EVs is a nightmare. You simply can't put Tesla and other car. Tesla does not have a large inventory of unsold cars. Cost savings from increased production allows for reduced prices while maintaining large profit marg. Ins. Buy Tesla and forget it. Tesla building the same care for 15 years. Where is the innovation? Where is the pickup truck? Where is the driverless car? Just another EV maker. Sell! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Dot. Yeah, good luck competing with Tesla. Next news. Upstream gifting can help you avoid estate taxes and preserve your stepped-up basis. Smart asset. Estate planning usually involves determining how to pass assets on to younger generations. But instead of leaving a piece of real estate, bank account or burgeoning stock portfolio to your ch. Ildren, the smarter tax move might be to leave those assets to your parents. That's the crux of a clever tax minimization strategy known as the post upstream gifting can help you avoid estate taxes and preserve your stepped up basis a p read first on smart reads by smart asset below are your comments that all sounds great theoretically what happens when the parent or grandparent needs to go into a nursing home Those inherited assets may be used up for this purpose or it may disqualify a parent or grandparent from claiming Medicaid to pay for this nursing home. Additionally, you have to as a gift structured purely for tax advantages made in contemplation of death might cause some concern if death occurs shortly after the gift. I did an upstream transfer of depreciated rental property to the parents years ago and made sure to document their partial need for the gift as they were enter. Great idea. But, Loretta and Al need to make sure they have taught Rich to be responsible with the money. And Rich needs to prove that he will be a good steward of the money. If he is willed dollar five millimeters from Al, will Rich feel like he just won the lottery and go on a spending spree? Question mark. Five dollars um will be a lot oh. Loopholes, they are not designed for the majority of taxpayers. Next news. Dow Jones dives 220 points as Powell gives this inflation warning. Tesla stock gets hammered. Investors Business Daily The Dow Jones dived after Fed Chair Jerome Powell gave an inflation warning. Disney earnings propelled the stock higher. Tesla stock plunged. Below are your comments.
I'd say given this high volatility, wouldn't it be prudent to create a portfolio based on someone else? Say successful model? I've achieved a remarkable 21% in just 5 months via the model portfolio approach without an trustee. Ing my funds to anyone for management. The Federal Reserve is in a hurry to repair the damage it caused by more than a decade of easy money. Dot. Jerome talks tough about how much smarter he is now, notwithstanding his decade of foolish easy moan. Why, then transitory inflation? I think of Jerome as someone who is in rehab from a long binge on E. Time to keep quiet for a while. It is like Obama revisited always talking when all he had to do was not talk so much. Fed Reserve should reduce the interest rate because increased rate hurts consumer spending. EV auto loan at 7% mine is 2.9%, mortgage rate 8% vs 3% two year ago, credit card rate also high. And increases cost of business loans, business has to increase its product and service. Powell has been saying the same thing for several months. Due to the holiday season he will not be talking much in public. Next news. A black swan investor warns of the biggest debt bubble in history and predicts the Fed's efforts will end in disaster. Business Insider. Universe's Mark Spitznagel says treasuries don't offer the best protection for investors and portfo. Leo diversification can do more harm than good. Below are your comments. We are in a colossal debt bubble, the likes of which the world has never seen. We've been continuously borrowing massively to keep the party going. The federal government, state governments, counties, and consumers are all borrowing at an unsustained able rate. The interest on the FE. The biggest risk is government debt caused by far too much government spending. The Fed made big mistakes but is at least correcting them to meet its dual mandate. Other parts of government are not correcting themselves but only continuing to make inflation worse than it should be. My wife and I have zero outstanding debt so I'm sure we will suffer the most. Someone has to pay, right? Debt bubbles are certainly a concern, but he offers no specifics about what sort of debt bubble he's talking about. So totally worthless. That he runs a black swan extreme tail risk fund is all you need to know to put his statements in co. End text. He skims his percentage points off investor fear, hence he benefits from fear mongering. Next news. Bank of America says this buy signal could trigger an 11% upswing in S&P 500 next year. Here are two stocks the banking giant likes right now. Tip ranks. Markets have been highly volatile over the past few months, shifting rapidly between ups and downs. However, Bank of America strategist Savita Subramanian sees a strong buy signal that investors show. Old note. Subramanian is pointing out the sell side indicator, a sentiment gauge with an accurate history of I. Identifying shifts in sentiment on Wall Street. Currently, the indicator is three times closer to buy than sell, a position that suggests a bull. Ish future for equities. The SSI has been.
Below are your comments. Bank of America giving advice when their own stock fell like 50% in the past year. Gain what more debt? Keep printing trillions of toilet paper dollars. Overvalued, overmanipulated, and overpriced Ponzi scheme known as the US dollar. It going to hit a BRICS wall soon. After it loses 35% from here. Totally faceless dribble from BAC. Seriously the worst performing bank on Wall Street of the big banks telling you all is well in the ma. RKET will rally by 11%. How to sell more clickbait on Yahoo. How many times do we have to see the same clickbait headline? Next news. More executives vanish in China, casting chill over business climate. The Wall Street Journal. An executive at a video streaming platform and another at a pharmaceutical company joined the Groen. G list of Chinese business and political figures who have vanished or been detained this year. Below are your comments. I think that anyone who invests in China is an enabler of a despotic nation. I look carefully at every item, every investment, and every place I go, for a Chinese communist part. Why involvement? Fix the problem. Invest in the United States. Produce items in the United States. She wants to nationalize all private companies since Chinese communists are already embedded inside them. Dot. Any CEOs resisted, and they will be sent to see Mao. I wouldn't invest in China with stolen money. It's like investing at a casino, sure you can win, but in the end the house always wins. Ah, life in China. No guarantees of long life. Revolution is brewing in China. Hundreds of millions of now peasantized s bleep workers are ignoring suggestions to go back to the Farm as China's first ever recession deepens rapidly. China's economy is on the brink and will plummet over the edge into a period of freefall in a matter of Mon. Next news. Charlie Munger says investors need to own stocks like Apple and Alphabet, or they risk being left be. E. Hind, Business Insider. Investors need to own at least two or three of the most dominant companies on the stock market to GE. T ahead, Warren Buffett's business partner says. Below are your comments. Just read through Munger's insights and I can't help but nod in agreement. Owning robust stocks like Apple and Alphabet has been a game changer for me. It's like setting sail with a dream team. You just know you're heading towards the horizon of success. It's not about just watching the market but seems to be a statement solely to help Berkshire's portfolio. Apple under Tim Cook has not produced much that wasn't released under Steve Jobs. The Vision Pro does not look appealing to me, so I don't know how much longer they can ride the iPhone. Nay an iPad wave. Given this article, maybe Berkshire is planning to unload some shares in those companies? Charlie Munger says investors need to own stocks like Apple and Alphabet to keep up with the market. 
He says a significant percentage of all gains will come from a few super competitors. Be first to catch the stocks go free stocks us. Next news. How is WeWork co-founder Adam Newman doing? The Wall Street Journal. WeWork's co-founder and former chief executive exited four years ago as a billionaire. As we work slogs through bankruptcy, there's a further twist in the tale, the Wall Street Journal's E. Leo Brown reports. Below are your comments. From the three lines of text I was able to read. I'm not paying for the rest. It looks like he is doing just fine. But it sounds like the banks are taking a beating. I suppose you don't have to be among the smartest people in the world to be a billionaire. Just smarter than those signing deals at SoftBank. Once again, banks not using common sense or due diligence for the wealthy clients and getting hosed. The second tier of justice and banking is a nice place to be if you are wealthy or just pretending to be. E. Of course, those devastating losses will be recouped as always by charging the middle class and they gave him an exit package of a $430 million loan secured only by WeWork stock. He probably stopped paying on the loan and pocketed the $430 million, handing the worthless shares back to the company. Looks like he needs bodyguards. Next news. Inflation causes IRS to raise tax brackets, standard deduction by 5.4%. The Wall Street Journal. Here's an upside to persistent inflation. More of your income will be taxed at lower rates next year. Below are your comments. And SSI benefits were up 3%, so a net 2% loss to inflation. I see posts that ask for an increase in salt. Why should others subsidize your salt? People that live in low tax states or own their home outright should not have to subsidize high salt. States. Ribbons immune to paying taxes due on the $20 million of foreign money they received from shell companies. Joey B says everything is a loan repayment, now those are some big loans. I find Biden and fellow Democrats the most unfinancial educated individuals in my life. Biden now spending close to 30% of the GDP on government wasteful spending ideas. This was only done during World War II when we were fighting to preserve democracy for a crazy man. Dot. It is a proven econ. I wish income were defined, or reminded, in the article. Is that gross income? Net of deductions? Dot. Next news. When Fed tightening ends, nothing performs better than 30-year treasuries. Not even the S&P 500, top economist David Rosenberg says. Business Insider. Rosenberg is skeptical that the recent stock market rally is sustainable, arguing that the surge has been rather junky and lacks fundamentals. Below are your comments. I have 30-year bonds maturing next month. My problem in repurchasing them for another 30 years is my age, 70. I'm not replacing them with another 30-year cycle. 
The interest on the federal debt all but ensures they will have to keep printing, which means in tear. Saint rates are probably going up. If they bleep the economy with a recession, not only will taxes collected go down, but outlays will go up. This will cause more money printing. Saying interest rates. Yeah, but the problem is timing, and the pros have been terrible at timing. What if there is a resurgence of inflation? I stepped in some of this article walking across the pasture. There are a lot of equity mutual funds that far outperform treasuries over the long haul. Next news. Roblox is shedding its meta shell to become a budding Wall Street darling. Yahoo Finance. Roblox reported its third quarter earnings on Wednesday, clocking a massive beat and a key win for T. He Company. Below are your comments. Roblox's Q3 bookings beat expectations, with strong growth in Europe and Asia. The company is working to age up its user base and shed the metaverse label. Be first to catch the stocks go free stocks us. That was nothing more than a summary of the latest earnings report, no facts that substantiate that. It is a budding Wall Street darling. Basically, it was an ad for Roblox. I don't follow Roblox so no idea on its potential growth or profitability, but what a lame article. Excellent article I've owned Roblox for almost two years and it's correct Roblox has crossed the Rubik. On into becoming a real blockbuster stock. Forever loss making since foundation. A huge cash burner. The American bubble's finest. Dot lol. Next news. Legendary oil mogul Harold Ham eyes the next stage in the U.S. shale oil boom. Generation 3 Feet Rock. Business Insider. That's to deal with the tough rock that contains a lot of things that heretofore we weren't able to produce, Ham explained at an energy conference. Below are your comments. It will take some new completion technology to wring enough oil out of lower quality reservoir and g. Ood prices. The prices part will happen. Scarcity always drives up prices. The tech part I'm not so sure. It'll likely mean more underperforming wells. Ham is smart. He saw all the green Manu. Flying cars would be nice too. Ham has the same level of specificity for both in his remarks. Looks like oil is in our future for a long time to come. Yes. Dot. I'm still waiting for teleportation portals. Dot. Let's hope we don't have to go there. It's more expensive and requires oil to be $85 a barrel just to be profitable and who know what corn. Ers they will cut to get there. Next news. The IRS just announced the new tax brackets. Here's how to see yours. CBS Money Watch. The IRS is rolling out new income thresholds for its seven tax brackets, boosting the limits to refill ECT inflation this year. Below are your comments. Marginal rates, 
for tax year 2023. 37% for incomes greater than $578,125, $693,000. 750 dollars for married couples filing jointly dot 35 percent for incomes over 231,250 dollars 462,500 dollars for married couples filing jointly 32 percent for incomes over 182,100 dollars $364,200 for married couples filing jointly. 24% for incomes over $95, 37. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.